Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, Episode 6. The Yu-Gi-Oh! Masochist Master Duel series, guys, and we're starting off with the duel with our rough deck. Let's see how it turns out, see if we can't pick up a nice easy dub. Our opponent's taking quite a bit. They do have the soccer ball, but if you notice, they kind of have plain, so far, plain stuff. So this could be hopefully a 15 extra deck though. I don't know if this is a a burn bot, but it could be. It could be. Well, they're not taking as long as the last bot. Oh, it's, okay. So we stand no chance. But we'll give it our best shot. Yeah, this is, uh, Dark Rod, okay. okay. Actually, this would be kind of a crazy, um, like, burn strat to use the Punk Engine to search out burn cards. Like, the big burn cards. That actually would be interesting. But yeah, I think this guy's just actually playing Punk and is about to wreck my face. Does he have anything else with it or is it a pure Punk? We'll about to find out. There's eight. Dragon? Yep, Dragon Drive. That thing's really big. Pay more life points, yep. Here's the interesting thing though. If this is some sort of burn strat and they are cycling through in order to burn me, that would be so fun. I, I would have no way to like predict it either. It would just be like, boom, in your face. And there's not anything I do, you know? It's actually kind of fantastic. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just punk about to kick my butt with uh, no in between. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if anything we can get unless we draw like, I don't know. One specific I'm thinking of cards that I could draw. I don't think there's any. Really. Oh. Okay, and Punisher. This is funny. Okay. Can't be this. Alright, what we're going to do is throw down staring contest just to mess with them, see what they do here. I mean, we've lost, but it's funny. Okay, so we're going to set two, and let's set this guy and pass. They're at 6800, I mean... They're, they're not going to lose this match. If they do, I will actually be super surprised. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Actually, this monster, monster assortment still has a target, right? Oh, it's not activating. Oh, there it is. Monster assortment. Yeah, we're going to lose this. I mean, we're in silver with a masochist deck. And if you guys did not know, you feel Maso Duel is uh is based off of Simo's Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Masochist, but I already have a serious masochist in main, so no reason to run it back again. Oh, I did Stella Knight. Interesting. I think the assortment revealed I have nothing in this deck. And this guy's like, oh, I can just run away with it. And to be fair, he can very much run away with it. Which he's proceeding to do. Oh, what are you gonna do here? Gold Pride. Wow, I was not expecting Gold Pride. Interesting. Okay. What's interesting here is though, I still think this deck could burn itself, you know? Like, somehow he could surprise, turn around, and smack. It's a burn deck that burns itself. This is cool. I don't think it is, though. I think this is just about to run 
like actual face off. But yeah. Alright. Start your engines. What's funny is this, the chariot carrier can, oh wait, this thing can, no, this card, so yeah. Alright, lose attack equal to it. Loses 18, goes down to 5. Like, I would, like I said, I would love if this is a burn deck and just didn't know it. Like, if it somehow is like, you know, actually like, look at this great board I put out, and then kills himself. That would just be the funny thing, okay, that might be. Okay. That's funny. That's that's actually funny. He still has lethal. But that is funny. Yep. <laughs> no, that that was good. That was good. Remember guys, every episode must include a win. So, a win will be included. Alright, we're gonna just hurry up. They need to speed all this up. Next match. I don't know in Silver if we'll easily pick up a win. Only one way to find out. Oh, look at this name, though. That name... Oh, I'm kind of blocking it. Which way would I have to go? I'm gonna have to go this way. It's a bunch of letters. So, um... It might be a self burn. I'm okay with a self burn deck, I have to admit. Not a great hand. Three cards. Interesting. What do we do here? Heroic Challenger. Dashing Shield. Okay. Machine? We'll just set a card. I don't think we have an out right now to this, but yeah. I'm just gonna speed this up. I don't have a chance here. You know. Why didn't you return this? I don't get this. Why didn't you just return this? You need to just ring. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we have a single major out card in this deck right now that can secure the dub. That's funny, but doesn't do anything. Alright, I am going to go in, and I'm just going to end this duel faster. There we go. I mean, there's, there's not a damn thing we can do. Uh... All right, just go to battle. You won. You literally... Oh, yeah. This card can be done on lots. There we go. Aha! The old... Doesn't do anything. But still, I have to do it. Yeah. This deck is not good. We need more cards that can actually turn a duel 
in these mediocre matches. Because, you know, if you have even Torrential or anything like that, you could turn these matches around. Mirror Force, something like that. Even DM level staples could help turn this around. We are dead. We are so dead. This is... I think this is the person I played against on stream who I thought was a Kyber player and they ran Dark Magician. I actually think that's what this is. Oh, Black Rowan. Maybe they're just playing a different deck. Oh, they're playing Black Rowan. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it is. I think the Pearson actually had a real game. Yeah, I do not have a chance in Helmet. But. Oh, I wonder who they're going to grab. Man, there's so many options. You know what you could do, buddy? Surrender. He's not surrendering, guys. Yeah, no, we have no chance against any of these decks. We need to de-level down to Brock. Yeah, we... Our, our plan has to be to pretty much just accept defeat here. Yeah, I'll probably summon a monster and swing into it. Because we have nothing right now, unless we draw some sort of magical out. But even then, he has negates and interactions. Let's do this. Activate for act. Discard. Special. This is what we're going to do. He is now a light monster. I'm just clicking buttons on this one. I mean, technically... He's actually gonna pop it, that's funny. Don't know why, but okay. Is there anything we can do here with these guys? I don't think there is. I'm just trying to be cute at this point. It ain't working out. Yeah, I think I'm going to go in and swing in just to help move this duel along. Because the most I can do is make a 2400. In essence. Yep. Alright, so we're going to special summon. Get as much damage as we can in. And I'll attack this one so it feels better. And we'll pass. Now they know just to go to battle and to attack. It's like, come on. You literally have lethal, just go to battle. Don't activate anything else. Because activating anything else just signifies you are a douchebag. You are an actual fucking douchebag. That's what you are. Uh, why? You have lethal on board. Like, you are literally a fucking idiot. I'm not going to be nice about this because this kind of shit is a waste of fucking time. What are you doing? You know? I'm just going to surrender. I, I won't take the experience. This guy's wasting everyone's fucking time. Dude, like, honestly, don't waste people's time. It's kind of precious, you know? It's like, what the hell is that shit? I absolutely hate that crap. Honestly. I think it ruins it. Alright, let's go lose again. Yeah, no. That that stuff should be... There should be a way to offer a forfeit on your behalf that your opponent could accept in order to still gain experience or something. Because all that stuff is just taking way too long. Interesting. 
We have Riker, we have Switcheroo. They're going first though, so we really can't set up much. We could set Switcheroo, set Riko, and hope it's enough. Oh, I do we I think this guy Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm just straight up dead. But yeah, no, I was going to say, I was wondering if this guy was the one with all the blue eyes stuff. Who, uh... No, because the other one had the blue eyes thing. This one has Kribo up there. Because I have Kribo, because Kribo's adorable. But no, I, I was wondering if this guy was the blue eyes player that uh, just had all the Kaiba stuff and then switched to had Dark and I don't think it was. So Suchiru is no longer alive. That's fine. I mean, we're dead anyways, I think... What, we set Raiko, set Switcheroo, and hope? The tough thing is, is we would need him not to summon any interesting, he didn't even uh, exceed summon or anything. And we'll just set. Alright, hopefully they exceed into something and go against Raiko and Raiko can try to pop whatever else it summons. All right, add another trap. What are you going to do? There we go. Is a rice heart band? Sure. Oh, okay. And we'll uh... To do it now. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Have fun. Okay, I'm trying to think about this and how to not be done with this. And I don't think... Oh, no, there might be a way, actually. This might be a big switcher move if I plan this right. This doesn't target. That's fine. Okay, so I pop Shangri La, summon something else, switch a room, take both of theirs. Actually, maybe I do something else. That's fine. Oh, please send mine. See the hot mess I have. Oh, please send. Yes. Look at this! Look at this craziness. Alright. So we're gonna flip this. Let's see what happens. Yes. Alright. We will summon... Neo. Please let it stick, please let it stick, please let it stick, please let it stick. This is gonna be funny. 
Chuchu is still active anyway. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I activated that because I fucking should have activated a suck and I missed it that. Oh well. Yep, I'm just gonna run into this thing, take damage. Should I equip this? I, you know, I'm gonna equip Grawl for this. Hurry up, dude. Fuck, all of this shit needs to be quicker in the spot. Cool, we're figuring nobody loses any luck. Here, here, here. I'm gonna give it attack points. <laughs> Yeah, no, I fucked that up. I really honestly don't care right now. Cool, dude. Banish a shitty card. It really doesn't fucking matter. This deck sucks, and you obviously realize that if you have half a break. Come on. This takes way so long. It's like, no wonder people don't want to play this shitty game. Cool. Have a Grawl. I hope he switches it to attack. I really do. Oh wait, he can't because of Brawl. That's unfortunate. I, did, I forgot about that second part. Back, so I was thinking, I would love if he beat over Raikou with it. That'd be so funny. <laughs> oh, unfortunately that's not the way it works. But... Alright dude, I have 52. Just hurry up and kill me. I'm getting bored. Honestly, Master Duel needs to speed stuff up. Or if your players allow us to stop animations and stuff in order to do it, you know? Because it's like, all the time all this is taking, especially for people who play these decks so much, it's an absolute waste of everybody's time. You know? It's roll! <laughs> that is roll! Be wary of its 2000 attack. Alright, attack me! I think Grawl's preventing his monster. It's right, as long as I'm low life points, I'll swing into this thing. Make sure it deals some extra damage to me. Come on, dude. Hurry up. Wow, look at all my shitty cards getting vanished. Come on. Come on, dude. Like, hurry up. Like, you're literally wasting everybody's time, and it's it's pathetic. Dude, you got this. Just swing in. And I'll summon this, swing in, and it should kill me. Done. Unless he has another monster he can summon in his hand. No, Grawl! Oh yeah, Rise Heart is lethal. Cool. Alright, let's hurry up, dude. Don't need to activate anything else. You have lethal. Just swing. Okay, what the fuck are you doing? Just attack. Are you actually stupid? Yeah, God, the amount of people without brain cells in this fucking game. Dude, just attack. Who cares? What are you doing? guys like an idiot dude you can tell this is a shit deck look at what's been discarded just hurry up and attack why are you doing all this extra shit like, oh my dude seriously why, why the fuck is this idiot playing this game if you're wasting everybody's time it's like it's stupid you have lethal just hurry up and go for it what are you waiting for dude Yeah, cool. Look at the stupid cars. Hurry up! It doesn't really matter, bro. What do you do? Hurry up! 
Hurry up. Come on. See, all this extra animation shit all needs to be cut out. Make this game actually good. It's not. It's not. Like, come on, let's hurry up. I wish there was chat or at least commands, like little like pre-based ones, where you can just say finish me or something to let people know you're kind of giving up. I kind of wish there was a surrender option. Just a simple option. I really don't put it here. I'll go first. Like a simple option to say, hey, you've won. Cool. Let's both get experience. Other than sitting there for 30 minutes, bang your head until you bleed and eventually die because of head trauma. Like it's stupid. It actually is stupid. Oh. Come on. This has to be a, with how long this is taking, this has to be a bot. Like a, a like a self burn bar and it's trying to get its program right or something because I I've never met a player where this sits this long and it isn't some sort of stupid bot. You know, whether it's a bot trying to farm wins to sell the account, which, you know, people do in every game. Or it's a bot that's a self burn bot. I just can't tell you. Just disconnect or surrender or something if you're going to waste my time. Like, the amount of time wasting in this game is its biggest problem for making it even remotely. Like, Master Duel, I think, is still one of the worst Yu-Gi-Oh! video game products ever. You know? It's just, it's, it's, this is bad. I mean, there's so many cool details, but how long it takes is pathetic. You know? Because I'm now supposed to fucking sit here till this guy actually does something. And if it's a bot that's trying to get this thing going, the timer is, you know, it's like, come on, let's hurry it up. Finally. And I really don't even have a play other than set this and I guess summon Neo and pass. Like, this is the best I can do. Hopefully it is a self burn bot, otherwise I've just wasted so much time of my life. You know? I mean, it could just be a starter deck too, if I call it an extra deck, but yeah, we'll see. I just, there's so much this game can clear up and it has it. It has it. Master Duel is no better than when it first released, and honestly, I still think it's one of the, he just surrendered. Okay, I guess I just going for damage. I yeah. if this is a self burn bot and it's not self burning, I don't know what's going on. It's I'm I'm actually confused by what is happening. Like. So this is a bot. How did this bot get into silver? Was my question, but whatever. It's a win. Unless he has something here. What was that? Like I said, that delay it has to be a bot, and it probably leveled up only because people disconnected or came across self burn bots. I'm actually confused. We get one pack and needle bar. No. Okay, I. I don't even want to know. Like, I don't want to know at all. You know, I just. It's actually amazing. Some of this stuff, man. Like. 
literally instead of playing anything, she's like, no, you know what? I ain't gonna do anything. But wrap this episode up. One master pack. Hopefully there's something good in here. Something that will lift the deck up. Um, take it to a new level. That's not it. That's not it either. Yeah, that's totally helpful. Tencent isn't bad, but not helpful. Well, like, okay. Oh, I mean, technically, this could search Raikou, but yeah, and. It's, it's destroyed battles, and you can talk about your opponent's crypt this to this card. And this is a card is crypt, take control of that monster. Gradle Alligator is actually useful. That is going in the deck. Everything else here is just horrible. Tencent isn't bad because it's, I mean, it's a Beast Warrior thing, but it's kind of generic Beast Warrior. You know, everything else is very specific to its category. I guess Tin Dingle's any flip. But it's like, it's not that useful. But yeah, Alligator. We'll take Gradles. Um, Legacy Pack. One of the finest Legacy Packs. Hopefully it has some playable cards. At least we're going to add one card in there that has the opportunity to flip everything on its deck. That's generic. That is unfortunately generic. <laughs> Not really. But no. Uh, yeah, no. Giant Castle is definitely going in. So I want to wrap this episode up. Alright guys. By taking a look at the deck. Right. So first and foremost. Uh, Castle's got to go in. Uh, I guess let's take out Ronan. Just to put him in. Save that for now. So, Grado Alligator is the only addition that's actually in ETC. Um, this can special summon itself back. I'm thinking we need to take out something that just isn't great. Like Ghost Gardener by the time it's defeated, it's back on that great. And we'll put in Grado Alligator. So, this is the deck we are rocking with, guys. And, uh, yeah, Raikou is a decent card. Uh, Alligator Polar Penguin's a decent card. The deck has very few. Reverse Break isn't awful. You know, we have some high attack monsters. Orbital Significant Pop is 2k. You know, 1900 there, but, you know, gotta love a 10 e But for the most part, Theo is a bad. The deck, it doesn't have much oomph to it. And that is a concern. But the only way to get more oomph is to win more matches. And unfortunately, we have a mission completed. Oh, just more gems. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take more gems. But to wrap this episode up, I think we can prove we just need to pick up a couple of wins. Hopefully next episode, we pick up a couple more than one, but only one way to find out, and that's me to get to record it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, tag out. A special thank you to all my Patreon supporters, Urza, and if you're interested in supporting the channel, wanting to see content early, or just to make me re-record this because I'd have to add another name to the list, check out Patreon in link description below.